Fraternity presents the American Huntress. Welcome to the American Huntress. I'm Linda Donahoe, and this is the Orange River in the Republic of South Africa. On this week's episode, you're gonna find me hunting with one of the best PHs in South Africa, owner outfitter of Ladigan Safaris, Benny Ladigan. Don't go away, the excitement's about to begin. Tig and I flew south from Polokwane to Bloemfontein, which is in the Orange Free State. The second leg of our African adventure is about to begin. I've just arrived in Bloemfontein from the northern province of South Africa. About to meet up with my outfitter, Benny Ladigan. Come on, let's see if he's there. It's what you call packing light. But hey, I'm here for three weeks. I am official, got my Ruger 6.5 Creedmoor and my 375 Ruger. Nothing's safe. Let's go meet Benny. How are you? Yourself. Oh, it's so good to see you. Thank you. The same. Yeah, good. To, good to see you. Yeah. Ladigan Safaris. Uh, we started the business in 1999, and uh, we mainly do uh, plains game hunting here in the Eastern Cape. This is lovely. And look what we have. Look. Oh, it's a lion cub. Hello. Oh, precious. Oh my gosh, my, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Um, let, listen, we'll go down and we'll show you the shower okay. and stuff okay. we used so. Oh, how pretty. It was wonderful to stay in such a comfortable chalet. And after a good night's rest, I was ready to get started. This is the Ruger 6.5 Creedmoor. After all that traveling that we had done, I wanted to make sure that my gun and my Zeiss scope were still on. It was right on at 100 yards. Okay. I think it's right in the center there. We'll just make sure for you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Whoa, dead eye bullseye. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> dead on at 100 yards. I am ready to hunt. 6.5 Creedmoor does it again. Now I can't wait to see what it's going to do on one of these African animals. Then he's taking us up to show us kind of our view. We're right here on the Orange River in the Orange Free State. Uh, we're going to go look at some Bushman rock art. Yep, yeah, we've got some uh, Bushman rock art on the property. Okay, it's, uh, it's a bit steep down here, so uh, we'll just stay closer on the side of the uh, rock. I've always been a history buff. In fact, at one time I wanted to be an archaeologist. So it was really exciting for me to be able to see these Bushman cave drawings that had been so well preserved. There were eland and buffalo, wildebeest. There's quite a lot of eland, you know, because eland were their favorite meat, basically, for the Bushmen, really good meat. You can see all the eland and stuff. They say these are over 500 years old that are on here, and um, uh, there was different tribes coming in of Bushmen, or different groups of Bushmen, I would say, and then that's why the drawings is on top of one another. So the first group were here, they did their drawings, and then the next group comes in, and they do some more drawings maybe on top of the, of the other one. Well, then this is a perfect shelter for them as well, for yeah. sleeping and to have their community. That's right. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more of the American Huntress. The American Huntress is brought to you by Hornady. Accurate, deadly, dependable. Ruger, arms maker for responsible citizens. Diamond Blade. Performance forged in steel. 
Ravenwear, special garments for outdoor enthusiasts. Tag Safari, outdoor clothing for your big game adventure. Riley Manufacturing, a legacy of shooting innovation. And Zeiss, we make it visible. Welcome back to the American Huntress. This segment's brought to you by Zeiss, we make it visible. When doing a spot and stalk in an open plains area like this, the vehicles really are helpful. They get you around a lot of places, you get to cover a lot of area, and spot the game without alarming them. That's so cool. Crazy Love animals. watching them run. <laughs> no, they eat crazy animals. Benny, thank you. It's been a great first day. Yeah. I can't wait to get started in the morning. Mm -hmm. How are you? Uh, very good, yourself? I'm wonderful. Slept uh, good? Uh, so we're going to um, see today if we can't get close to uh, um, a nice born to box for you. Mm. So um, we're going to spend some time on that. There's quite a few, so we'll look through quite a bit before we make a decision and see what we can get. Okay. Uh, so. All right. Can't wait. Let's uh, go. All right. Uh, That's a nice wide old one, yeah. The first animal I wanted to try for was the Bonte Bach. Now a Bonte Bach is similar to a Bless Bach, but with three distinct colors. That's also a pretty nice one. I mean, it's really wide. That's what caught my eyes, you know, but it's got good length on him as well, but we'll keep him, keep him in mind as well. Uh, this man over here is also he's, he's, he's pretty white, white horn, um, but I would say that other one is still a bit better, uh, better you know, so um, that one is still going to be the best one to go after. It turned out that the best Bonte Bach was the first Bonte Bach we had seen. Now we needed to make a plan to go back and find him. Mm -hmm. Chase is about to begin. And now we're going to go straight this way. Um, we spotted them over there, so we'll just go this way and see, you know, if we can't get in uh, close into a shooting shooting position. There. Ah, that is the one at the back. He, he, he just bit, laid down. He just bit it down, oh. yeah. Well, I can see now he's really, really light on his shoulder, you know. Mm -hmm. It's the Bonte Box three distinct colors, black, brown, and white, that make him such a prize. And I wanted that classic coloration on the animal that I wanted to take. And this one just didn't have it. It's a bit light on the neck here, and I can see that now. And there's another male bit it down, not too far from him. That's um, a real nice uh, dark color, and it's got really good ones. That's one of the things that the Bonky Bonk are known right. for, is a different color of face. Yeah, I, I agree. I think we'll, we'll go for it. Stay tuned for more adventure with the American Huntress. Welcome back to the American Huntress. This segment's brought to you by Houston Safari Club. Get in the hunt. There's another male bedded down not too far from him that's um, a real nice uh, dark color and he's got really good ones. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll go for it. Stop now, just wait a bit. Oh, don't get behind that one. Yeah. Ah. Okay, well, just keep him that way. That one moves. Okay. Oops. Good shot. Well done. 
Is he shooting. at the back? No, he's down. He's oh, I, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> done. <laughs> he dropped right there, no? Yeah. Perfect shooting. <laughs> well done. Very good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. River yeah. 6.5 Creedmoor. <laughs> Drop that body bot. Yeah. That's good shooting there. Thank you. Very Thank good. You. Very good shooting. He, he dropped right there. He didn't know what hit him. So, all right. We're going to go see it. Going to so. get a close up of him. I'm still shaking. <laughs> Make sure he's. Yeah. It's official. He's well, mine. Awesome. Well done. <laughs> very, you, very Danny. good. Thank you. Excellent he's shooting beautiful. there. Oh, look at this face. Look at this. Oh, gorgeous. Ooh, he's heavy. Oh, it's got really <laughs> Look nice, at those bases. nice heavy bases, you know. Uh, yeah. Good smooth tip, and I guess he's got a pretty good uh, drop back, you know, that you would like from the born to block. And um, yeah, very very nice. He's got nice and wide as well. So really a beautiful, Thank very you, good Benny. shooting there. Thank perfect, you so much. Perfect shot there and everything. Well done. The wind was picking up uh, quite, quite a bit, and you made a perfect shot there. Thank you. I was thrilled to get that Bonnie Bach on the ground. And after dropping him off at the skinning shed, Benny and I headed to a bluff overlooking the Orange River where we were going to glass for Bless Bach. There's quite a lot of uh, game over there. You know, yeah, Bless Bach, the zebra, wildebeest. We spotted some uh, bliss park there. We're gonna uh, go a bit closer, see um, if there's a good one there. We, um, we've got a bit of a side wind, you know, so that's good. So we're gonna try and get in from this way and uh, the sun will be in our favor as well. So, see. Pretty good wind. Yeah, it's a pretty strong wind, yes. so we'll see. Okay. I still have to move a little bit this way before we come in. slow and give him some time that he starts moving away and then we can go up. The way the wind's blowing, it would be carrying their scent to them. I mean, it keeps changing. Yeah. Between the wildebeest and zebra busting our stalks and the changing wind, it was almost impossible to get close to these bless buck. You spot an animal that you're after and you start stalking it and you're about halfway there and there's another animal in the way you know that came through and then you have to wait to give him a chance to s settle down because as soon as these run the blaze work is going to take oh, yeah. off as well so we'll uh, have to wait out a bit but that's that's the way hunting works you know so. those wildebeest weren't going anywhere and it looked like the rain was moving in weather moving in. I'm hearing thunder. Yeah, that's right. That uh, uh, you know, I think it's starting to, to rain out there, and with the rain coming down, it pushes the wind out, and that's why it's drifting up this way. If we stay in this gully, um, you know, the wind will blow possibly up in this gully, and then if we can get in a little bit past them and then come over okay. and see. Yeah, okay. okay. Just, it just keeps changing. Yeah. Place back to Hunter Zero, you know. So. Yeah, got it. Yeah. <laughs> this has been an awesome afternoon, yeah. but the wind is just every which way, and yeah. it looks like we may have a little change in weather. But we just, we just can't get on them. They've got their yeah. wildebeest buddies and their zebra buddies, yep. and almost got there. So yeah. we'll have to go again tomorrow. Yeah, we'll try yeah. first thing in the morning because well, yeah. I think I, I think I found the one I want. Well, so, good. <laughs> Welcome back to the American Huntress. <laughs> morning, okay. morning. Well, I talked to Kim last night, yeah. and he'll be here. He lands about 2, and so oh. I guess he'll get here to camp, what, about 
5, 5.30? Yeah, I would say about 5.30, yeah. It's going to take them about two and a half hours. So. Okay. In the meantime, there's a bless box out there with my name on it. Well, so, well, yeah. well, let's <laughs> so, go and get him. I so. think we better go get him. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> We spotted some blessbuck uh, over here. So what we're going to do is the wind is perfect, you know, so we're going we're to walk with the wind down this gully okay. and come around over that little reach there and see if we can't get close to there. Okay. Okay. It had gotten so hot so early, I couldn't wait to find some shade. I'm, I'm already thinking, okay, should have worn the shorts. <laughs> well, if everything worked accordingly to plan now, if we go over here, we'll probably be close to them, so okay. we'll see. Okay. Once we get to the top, we just have to make sure and then use the bushes and try and stay in the shade until we can get forward. They still stay a bit higher up. I thought they're going to be a bit lower down, but looks like they grazed higher up. Spotted there's about three or four miles. That's really come closer and there's one nice mile there so I think we'll go this way and see if we can't get a stalk on him. Okay. Right then. We have to crawl about five to ten yards just to get behind that bush to get to that one. definitely didn't get us. They know there was something here, but I probably decided, well, that's it. We're now done of being nervous, you know, we're gonna go. All that work. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's all right, all that work. I saw them walking, they walked that way, now the big herd went over to, to that open area there at the back. So we might um, uh, just go around and see where they go, where these went to, and see if we can't get, get maybe Try into there. Them <laughs> yeah. As long as the villabiers stay on the side, it will be all right. It was the heat of the day and we had to intercept them before they bedded down. So we got set up under a tree with really good cover and we waited. This is either going to be from that until over there okay. to that side here yeah, that we would uh, have a shot. So, right there, yeah, the bliss book, uh, you know, moved up when we stalked them first. So um, they're moving this direction. So we came around and coming in to try and intercept them here in the front. You know, this is their favorite area they like to come. So we'll just sit here and wait um, they, um, they were walking this direction so hopefully we'll get them and it gets warm so they're going to be down and this is the area they normally do that so and now there's some willabies coming in from the left so we'll have to be real limited in their movements and because if they get a fright you know they're going to let all the other game move off as well Lena, there's a place by coming that four miles just to the left of this bush they're going to come straight into this opening. But we'll wait. They're probably going to walk still a bit closer, so we'll just let them settle. It's now, they're now at about right at 200, you know. It's the one on the far right. On the far right, yeah. yeah. They're going to walk slowly this way, so we'll just wait. Okay, I'll we'll just wait for him to stop and give you a broadside shot.
Perfect. Well done. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> He's done. Well done. <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All afternoon, all morning, <laughs> we've chased these guys. The wildebeest, there they go. There they go. Yeah. But what a great plan. Oh, I'm shaking all over. <laughs> oh man. I have a new favorite rifle. This baby's going with me everywhere. <laughs> Well done, Linda. Thank you. Very, very good. Thank well you. done. He's oh, a look beauty. at that beauty. Wow. Look at this guy. Oh, look at this guy. My gosh, look at those bases. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, he's beautiful. Secondary growth starting uh -huh. at the bases. You see the ridges getting real closer together and uh, not as uh, thick as those. They're starting getting close and together. That so this means, means he's a really old he's getting, guy. He's really. getting very old. You can see specifically here as well. You know, he's so. rubbed all this down. Wow, he's got yeah. a crack right there. This is my South African blessed spot. Well, part one of our adventures pretty much come to a close. I just got me a magnificent blessed spot. Yesterday I took an awesome Bonte Bach. My husband Kim is flying in. What a great start to my African adventure. The American Huntress is brought to you by Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Ruger, arms maker for responsible citizens. Diamond Blade, performance forged in steel. Ravenware, special garments for outdoor enthusiasts. Tag Safari, outdoor clothing for your big game adventure. Riley Manufacturing, a legacy of shooting innovation. And Zeiss, we make it visible. This week I'm hunting with Benny Ladigan, Ladigan Safaris, and I'm at the Butch. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs>